Hi everyone and welcome to another Hero Arts video. This is Janos Makula. Today I'm going to share a simple thank you card with a fun die cut window which can also be used as a locking mechanism to keep the card shut. I'm going to be using a new stamp and die set from Hero Arts called Stamp and Cut Flowers. I like that there are two matching dies here to cut the banner and also the flower. The stamp set itself has a lot of beautiful natural images. You've got a few flowers, there's a solid one and an, and an outline one in the same size and shape. You also have a bunch of various leaves and greenery. I find it perfect for building your own custom bouquets. You can color these images using the color medium of your choice or you can just stamp them using various colors of ink. And this is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be using several colors of ink from Hero Arts to do my stamping. So the colors are black. I'll be using this one just for the sentiment. Butter Bar, this is my favorite yellow color. Forever Green, a nice dark natural green color. Neon Pink and also a Cup of Joe. This is a new color combo for me. I don't think I've ever made a card using these colors, but I'm very eager to try and see what I can make using these. I also created a card base for my project using Sunshine Mixed Layering Paper from Hero Arts. I folded in colored side in and left the outside white. This is my favorite trick when using these papers from Hero Arts. You would never expect the inside of the card to be different from the outside. I'm going to start working on my card by stamping a sentiment directly onto the card base. I'm going to be using a matching die and cutting it out, creating a window for this card and also a die cut sentiment. I'm using black ink and stamping this somewhat towards the top of my card base. Like I said, I'm going to cut this out using a matching die. I just need to make sure that it's going to stay in place, so I'm going to tape it down using a piece of washi tape. If you have a magnetic platform, you don't need to tape anything, the die is going to stay in place on its own. So once it's taped, I'm going to send it through my Artisan Explorer machine from Spellbinders. These dies are going to work in any other die cutting machine. Now I have to mention that you need to make sure to open your card base when cutting that sentiment out. Otherwise, you will end up cutting through the front and through the back of your card. I needed to cut the opening only in the front, so I made sure to open the card base before I sent it through my machine. Now you can see that awesome pop of yellow color through the window on the front. Looks very, very cool, I think. Now before we do any more stamping, I'm going to adhere this sentiment back in place and also create a quick locking mechanism for my card. I was not planning on making this a lock for my card, but it just happened and I found it to be very useful. I'm going to use foam adhesive squares and adhere a couple to the back of my die cut sentiment. To make sure I adhere it exactly where it needs to be, I'm going to close the card base and adhere that sentiment through the opening on the front onto the inside of the card. As soon as I have it in place, it starts to act as a lock. It prevents my card from opening on its own. Pretty cool, I think. Now you can easily open it if you need to. Now that we have that done, we can begin planning the rest of our card. I like to grab my stamps and just sort of lay them onto my paper and decide how and where I want these images to be stamped. This simply helps me to visualize my project before I do any actual stamping. I also like to take a picture with my phone and refer to it later as I'm doing the actual stamping to check if I'm still doing what I intended at the beginning. Now I already know what I want to do for this card as I have already planned it in advance, but I still wanted to share this part of my creative process with you. I'm going to use the two larger flowers from this set, the solid one and the outline one, and I'm going to stamp them onto a piece of white cardstock and butter bar ink and cut those out using a matching die. These are going to be the only raised elements on my project. They are also going to overlap the rest of the stamping and tie everything together. I'm stamping six, three of each, just in case. I only need three flowers for this card, but I know I might mess something up, so I'm stamping a few just in case so that I don't have to go back and do my stamping again. I'm going to use a matching die and cut those out. As soon as this is done, I can begin stamping the rest of my images onto my card. I'm going to use the die cut florals to help me decide where I need to stamp the rest of the elements for this project. I'm going to stamp my images in three areas, creating a visual triangle around the sentiment. First, I'm stamping the little flower using neon pink ink color from Hero Arts. I want this particular image to pop off the card, so this is why I'm going with the neon ink. You can definitely use regular pink for this, it's simply just a matter of preference. 
You can see that once I've stamped the first image, I'm grabbing the die cut yellow flower and using it as a guide to decide where I need to stamp the second flower. Next, I'm going to stamp this beautiful leafy branch using a cup of joe ink just underneath the die cut sentiment. It's just going to outline this die cut window in a way. You will notice that a lot of images are going to overlap as I'm doing my stamping. This is the look that I'm going for. If you don't like this look, you can create masks for each image and mask those that are already stamped. It's also going to look very beautiful, but it's going to take a little extra time and effort. I'm going to keep stamping all of the images onto my card using the colors that I mentioned earlier. So I'm using Cup of Joe and stamping a couple of branches and berries, I guess, forming that visual triangle around my sentiment. Now I'm switching to the Forever Green and stamping a couple of leaves and simply adding just a bit of green to this project. After my stamping is done, I'm going to go back to my stamped and cut flowers and adhere those inside those clusters to cover up the ends of the branches and the leaves and basically to finish my little bouquets. I'm using foam adhesive to create a bit of dimension and I'm adding those to the card base. Usually I add foam adhesive to the die cut element because I have an opening there, that die cut sentiment, I need to make sure I do not add a foam square on top of that. So I'm simply adding those to the card base and adhering my flowers on top. Now I forgot to stamp the little bow that also comes in the stamp and cut flower set. So I'm going to stamp that using the brown cup of joe ink. I think it adds a nice little finishing touch to this project. At this point, you can leave your card as is, or you can add a couple of extra elements like gems or pearls. I'm going to use the Hero Arts metallic decor, and I'm going to add a few red metallic pieces onto my card. The reason I chose red is because I wanted to create an additional pop of color to go with that neon pink. I'm adding just a tiny amount of this red, so it's not going to be overpowering, and it's not going to steal all of the attention from the flowers and the sentiment. Finally, I want to add a bit of color to my background and make it a little messy. You can skip this step if you don't like the look of ink drops on your project, but I felt that the background here was a little bit too white, so I decided to add a few drops of silver ink. I'm using a silver spray from Hero Arts and a small paintbrush. I'm going to dip the paintbrush into the liquid, pick up a bit of that silver color, and lightly tap on the paintbrush with my finger to create small drops of ink on my project. If you want bigger drops, just use a bigger brush. And if you want smaller drops, just use a smaller brush. If you've never done this before, I would suggest you practice a bit on a piece of paper so that you do not ruin your project. So this finishes my card for today. I love the way it turned out, and I know for sure I will keep reaching for this stamp set again and again, as it's one of those must-haves in your stash. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section on YouTube or on Hero Arts blog. Thank you for watching. Bye.